In Singapore, a type of FGM called sunnah is still legal. Could British kids end up there? I'm calling some clinics to find out, pretending I've got my own daughter. Hello, I'm calling from the UK. Um, I was wondering if you provide sunnah to girls? Uh, to girls, yes, we do. Okay. And mm -hmm. my daughter's British, is that all right? Yeah, it's all right. So after just one call, I found a clinic that'll do it. And it says it doesn't matter that I'm British. A second clinic even gives me a price. Okay, the cost will be just, uh, $25. That's just £17. But it's the third clinic that makes me really angry. It says it can remove most of my daughter's genitals. We can. It, it, it's possible. We can do also. But you need to come down to see the doctor. We can't speak over the phone. That's really shocked me. I've called six clinics. Three of them say they'll do it. The woman didn't seem like she cared at all about where I'm from, who I was, what I wanted. She didn't even seem to care that I was British. Yeah. But I'm not the only one shocked by our calls. The NSPCC wants us to call the police. I think it's really worrying. What I heard was a very serious child protection concern against the law for any child to be taken out of the UK to have the FGM carried out abroad. So that's information really that we would want to be sharing with the Met Police for them to share with law enforcement internationally. Yeah, it's hard to listen to. It's reckoned 20,000 British girls are at risk every year. So how come no one's been done for it? Alison Saunders is the right person to ask. She's the Director of Public Prosecution. It is very difficult to prosecute because people don't come forward, so it normally happens to young girls. Um, they're in a family where they don't want to get the family into trouble, they don't know that they can talk about it, they don't know what's going to happen to them beforehand. So it's really difficult to get the evidence in order to prosecute. But I think with the awareness raising, with people talking about it, with education and health specialists knowing they should report any concerns that they have, um, I think that will help us to get towards a prosecution.